the IBM Cloud reference architectures. Today's developers don't just write code. They often think about the bigger picture, often involving concerns in overall solution design. Understanding IBM Cloud reference architectures can help you make the right decisions up front before you start building. After this module, you will understand what the cloud reference architectures are and where to find them. You will also have an understanding of the web reference architecture and elements of a multi-channel implementation of the web reference architecture using microservices. To help every developer build successful applications, IBM has assembled a collection of architectures that provide frameworks and examples across every important solution area. These architectures are all available from the IBM Cloud Garage Method site. Several of the solution areas are shown in these tiles. Each area has an architecture framework or reference architecture, which describes the components and function, but does not specify particular products and technologies. Most frameworks are also supported by examples, or reference implementations, that identify products and design choices to achieve the necessary function in the reference architecture. These architectures and implementations help you answer many key questions that come up and provide developers with examples from IBM's own work with clients to apply to their own projects. Let's go over one reference architecture and a corresponding implementation. This diagram illustrates the architecture components of a web application. Not every web application requires all of these components, but some components and functions are present in every web application. It all starts with a user, which could be a user agent or application acting on behalf of a user. The user or a user agent sends a request to a specified URL. Next, Edge services provide the capability to access and deliver content and include domain name service or DNS, content delivery networks or CDN, firewalls, and load balancers. Running across the environment, the security layer manages confidentiality, integrity, availability, and compliance as required for the business needs of the web application. API management advertises the available service endpoints. The API manager receives a request and then determines which services or applications in the application to invoke and checks if the user has the appropriate authority. Application servers return the resources, normally in some form of web content, based upon the user's request. User directories may be used by the web application server to authenticate the user and to validate permission rights to perform the request. These can be located at the application or at the enterprise level. Directories provide storage and access to user information to support authentication, authorization, or profile data. Caches are used by the web application server to speed the return of appropriate content and associated data to the user. File repositories store and manage data that the application server can request. The transformation and connectivity layer enables secure connection to enterprise systems and the ability to filter, aggregate, or modify the data or its format as it moves between web components. This component takes the messages and data to be stored in the enterprise database completes any necessary transformation from web formats to database formats, and ensures that secure, reliable messaging is used appropriately. Enterprise data includes systems of record and metadata about the data for enterprise applications. The web application server may need to access the database and query data to generate the requested response. Enterprise applications include applications that accomplish business goals and can interact with cloud services through the transformation layer. Finally, the response from the web application tier is returned to the user over the internet via the Edge services. Let's move on to a reference implementation. The first thing to note here is that the diagram displays actual services and application components with specific functions. The architecture center includes code examples and deployable projects for reference implementations. The application is a simple storefront shopping application that displays a catalog of antique computing devices where users can buy and add review comments. It has web and mobile interfaces. Both the mobile app and web app rely on separate BFF or backend for frontend services to interact with the backend data. The example code for this application contains both an Angular based web application and a native iOS application. The application components are written in Java using Spring Boot. 
The following slides go into highlights and specific aspects of the reference implementation, as they are very common patterns for creating omni-channel cloud-based applications. In this application, the clients access the application microservices through an API gateway. In the reference implementation, this capability is provided by API Connect in Bluemix. This gateway component supports OAuth, allowing authentication for API requests. The web and mobile app invoke their own backend microservices to fetch data. We call this component BFFs, following the backend for frontends pattern. In this layer, Front-end developers usually write back-end logic for their front-end. The web BFF is implemented using a Node.js Express framework, and the mobile iOS BFF is implemented using server-side Swift. These microservices run in Bluemix as Cloud Foundry applications. Reusable Java microservices are invoked by the BFFs. This component is sometimes written by a team different from the front-end developers. In the reference implementation, the microservices are written in Java using Spring Boot. They run inside IBM containers using Docker. BFFs and Java microservices communicate to each other using the Netflix OSS framework components. The Zool Netflix component runs in Bluemix to provide a proxy layer for the microservices. The Eureka component provides a service registry. Java microservices register themselves to Eureka, which allows the clients to find them. Hystrix provides an implementation of the circuit breaker pattern. This component runs as a library inside the Java applications and forwards service availability information to a dashboard. This completes the overview of the IBM Cloud reference architectures and also the IBM reference implementations available from the IBM Cloud Garage Method website. You're encouraged to go there to check out further examples and learn more.